now welcome Higuti on our studio with us. Um, wait on see before we go for a break now. Business matter with Frankly Frank. And I always talk to Nigeria, I'm going to talk about how they want to ensure, say, then uh, promote financial literacy. That's to mean, say, make people understand what they happen for financial world. Make also people, when we say, then they investment space, get informal sector to the invest. But how they want to invest? If what they speak now, stress, 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 stress. If what they speak now, how to, how the graph they go up, they come down. Now, what in Frankly Frank they do on top of the Good Morning Nigeria show? So tell everybody where you expect to they invest their money into business. When they watch that segment for the show, me self, I they like to listen to it because I they get things. So they say, ordinary, if I read them, I feel not really understand. Thank you, um, Frankly Frank, for that um, particular business matter side we would already do for the show today. Um, we get another segment where we say we want to enter and another interview where we do and we get guests here for studio with us. Uh, now, Meme, um, Okonkwo. But before we go, even show you Meme, he gets reports where we want to show concerning what Meme go talk for the show today. You know, say for the beginning, I tell you one about um, this one they call piercing. You know, say you look woman body now, this place and this place here. Now, they say people they press him. But I guess some people say you go see, if you count like up to nine day for the year, you go see, say that one I ain't done do, you go see when they put for nose, you go see when they wear the ring for nose, some people even chook, put for eyes, some people even chook, put for even inside, inside their tongue, even put for their mouth, some people even put on top uh, leg. And you know, say, because they would really like to do you both things, uh, we say you both things, because our forefathers too, they know they do one before. And uh, now people go, they look them with one kind eye. Some people go look the kind eye, be say, what's in this person they do? Which kind of thing be this? Some people go say, wow. I feel so, I feel do. When are they look them, what me they ask, we say, you know, they pay you. But maybe go tell us more about that. But before that time, maybe we look this report on this piercing matter. Maybe you yourself go and begin pierce after you don't watch and finish. <laughs> yeah. Piercing, having one or two is seen as great. But add a few more, and you have a few people raising their eyebrow. To further buttress this point, what comes to mind when you see people with more than one piercing? Uh. Hey, you see somebody that open here, here, open here, open here. They don't look good now. To me, it looks rubbish. I don't like people that wear it, they are like prostitute. <laughs> Everybody get their own choice now. As for me, I know if you open more than one here. For my own time, it's only this one. I don't even like putting big earrings, like something like this, because I'm carrying local. Piercing is a fashion. Well, some people see it as we want something that they don't like and wants to do it. It look rough. If my bikini will get a year, I go bitter. It is spoiled beauty. Woman natural and every day beauty. If you find, you find, you go see my way, you go mine. And if not mine, you go see girl, you go mine. You think just the destabilize people, but you know good. You know they're encouraging. I mean, I try, I mean, I did dress, I mean, I know they use. Yeah, in this point, our body. To further understand the stigma and properly understand what piercing is about, we had a sit down with an expert who gave us the nitty gritty about what person is. My name is Meme. My full name is Chinemelo Mokonko, but most people know me as Meme. And I'm the CEO of Meme Body Piercing. Piercing is a small hole in a part of the body. Typically, other than the ears, it is used to insert rings, stored, or other piece of jewelry. Piercing is associated with so many myths and we had the expert also debunk some of these myths that comes to mind. Basically, um, start with the ear, because the ear has so many um, compartments, like the rook, um, creator piercings, industrial piercings, the tragus, we have the belly piercing, the nipple piercing, genitals. So I don't get when people say, as a guy, if you get a piercing, maybe on, I think it's on your left or on your right, that you're gay, or if you get nipple piercings, I, I do I know I just think it's it's just being judgmental and it shouldn't be like that. Life is too short, you should take a risk. Or maybe they say, oh, if you're not meant to sleep with somebody before you get a piercing, I feel like that's just a myth. If you take care of your piercing properly, your piercing will heal really well. It takes six months to heal, six to nine months to heal. Um, if everybody's skin differs so your skin might heal faster than somebody else's skin it depends but the secret is to always keep your piercing dry your piercing always always has to be dry for the tongue the tongue is different because it, it has lots of nerve endings and the, the heals based on the muscle in it right and the tongue is the fastest part of the body to heal it heals faster than the ear so basically a tongue piercing takes mm, say 
four to six, less than four months to heal. But the first week that you get a tongue piercing done, I'm not going to lie to you, I'll be very truthful to you, it's actually very painful. Not very painful, it's nothing you can't handle, but the from the third day to the fifth day is actually I, I don't want to, I think you have to experience it for yourself. So you can always get a tongue piercing, you know, and check it out and see if you lo love it. After all is said and done, piercing should be seen as an art. And people who have it should not be victimized. And this is what I talk on top of that report, so I just see now, now. Hmm. And you understand why we need to discuss that matter for the show. That last thing where the uh, reporter talk, now in touch me, say, make we not they victimize people when they, uh, they pierce. You know, say, generally people, they like to they fear waiting, they don't understand. But me, me, they here, make sure help us understand. Make we safe. Uh, you know, try to make a living like that first. Uh, Mimi, <laughs> you are welcome. Thank you. For the show today. As I said, even they look you first, Mimi. You get questions, say, I won't even ask you yourself personally before I even talk about the pictures and when they see. As Mimi with this a lovely smile, just, you know, throw the smile out there. If you don't look well, I'm not going to say, you get one piercing one day inside Mimi mouth. You know, I don't tell people they do inside tongue. Then they do for lip. Mimi put her on for wear gum day, and they always ask one question: "In you know they pay you?" It's not painful at all. Mimi, I bet just help us understand. What be this whole idea behind to open, you know, body everywhere? People always look and say that woman matter. Men serve they do them. Yes. What thing that one can day be, be about? Um. Okay. So personally, I feel like it's an individual choice. Most people do piercings for the fun of it. it's just like tattoos okay. most people do piercings because you know they see it as an escape from either pain or they want just adrenaline rush or they just want to forget about their worries mm -hmm. so everybody has you know why they do certain things it's just like people that drink there are people that love to drink there are people that love to whatever it is some people's own is piercing and they don't mind getting it all over their body mm -hmm. If you see some videos, you see people that do like lots of body modifications and they have like implants on their head. They have like crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. They're expanding their ears like with different gauges. So I think it has to do with the individual and also not caring about what people think mm. also. Because I feel like we're so stigmatized in Nigeria. If you ask me. And honestly, if you look at what we say that they pierce, now people will be saying, I should say they chop like 10,000 naira liver. You need to get liver to do this kind of thing for Nigeria because it's ordinary. People will be saying, ordinary dada, where people they carry. Yes. They don't already look you like, say, either you they smoke uh, marijuana or say you they do some kind of thing you say you're not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the, people they call, say, profiling. Before a person go open mouth, you don't already look and say an irresponsible person. Even if the person get degree or get experience, if you turn your, con your company around, you mm -hmm. go don't already condemn them, say, what's in that they do on top of your head, whether they say be Rastafarian. Yeah. Even for Ethiopia itself, I say some of the Rastafarians, so if we get job for bank because of the, the data where they carry for they head. Can't. So society don't already group people because they know they look like every other person. Mm -hmm. You get something where you even talk there, say some people they do them for their own separate, different reasons. Yeah. For some customers, they say that they come your hand to come open their body, which mm -hmm. of the reasons where they don't already where tell you, where they don't tell you, say don't shake you before to wonder, say, hope everything they okay. Um, okay, so first of all, I like to build like a relationship with most of my clients. Clearly. And I, the main thing is to make them feel as comfortable as possible. That's the, you have to create a safe space for whoever it is that you're working with, mm -hmm. you know, so that you can even be able to come back for more mm -hmm. piercings. Um, I've come to understand certain people's journeys and come to understand that there are certain reasons why people do certain things. I don't know if I'm meant to be saying this, mm -hmm. but I had a particular client that the day she was she booked her appointment she told me that she can't miss that particular date because she had she lost her child on that particular day oh, no. so she wanted to get the piercing because it's a reminder oh, of no. it and it sort of touched me and i i almost started crying because for me to be um in that position mm. for her to be as open yes. with me and as honest with me i felt really honored and 
I don't know, I feel it's more than just the rings for me. It's more than just the piercing. It's more than, it's the relationship that I build, you know, along the line. Okay. And it's a piercing, they happen for different parts of body, for eye, for mouth, for nose. From this picture, where they even show for this report now, I really shock. And they see for hundred, we say, you know, plenty mm. flesh, did that area, mm. um, for inside tongue, as you don't talk your own now, for inside gum, where we say, Hmm. Make ordinary fish bone. It's Took me for there. You want, you want, best I won't die. It's not painful. So make we even look the risks where they inside this uh, piercing, piercing matter. Yeah. Again, so we say you go feel look as extreme because um, clearly, if people they feel carrying for all those areas, which other part of body feel pain again? Okay, so um, everybody's pain threshold is different. Mm -hmm. I can't gen, um, gen, you know, say okay, because you're getting a particular piercing done, your pain threshold will be higher or lower. Yeah. You can only know until you experience it. So, so it no not matter the part of the body? It doesn't matter, because some people can tell you, okay, my smiley piercing wasn't painful, but my... Sorry, my smiley piercing was painful, mm -hmm. but my nipple piercing wasn't painful. Okay. Some can tell you my tongue piercing, I didn't feel anything, but my ear piercing was painful. So it depends. And also, with piercing... If you're tensed up or if you, you have a lot on your mind, it's going to feel more painful because it's all in the mind. For, like, for instance, me, I did all my piercings myself and it just had to do with me blanking my mind okay. because the more tensed I am, the more pain I would feel. Mm. Like, for my snake bite piercing, I felt so much pain because I was already tensed. No, but it's in column. It's called a snake bite piercing. As in snake so it's at the you. tip of your tongue. Mm -hmm. And you just have like two balls at, the here, there. at each end. Okay. Mimi, calm down. You know, okay. say, me, we're not there yet to judge. I always tell people, say, not judge other people because, say, then they sin differently from you. And I put that word, um, sin, because um, people will be saying they don't already condemn people when they draw for body, when they do piercing, they don't already look and say, nah, sin. And because, say, you know, they sin like them, you don't turn yourself to um, class captain of morality <laughs> to talk, say, what they do, no good. So they always talk, say, because say, people know they do the, the, one, the bad thing where you they do, as you they do, no judge. That's if you don't already group and say, nah, bad thing. But what I want to ask me, me now, be say, this one, what she just showed me now for her mouth, when we say, nah, snake bite piercing, as your tongue come out, I think that they say, I'm, you put one here, put one there. Mimi, I better help me understand something. What seems be the idea of behind that? this um, piercing when they have tongue? If they make a bar when hot, make it cold once it touch your mouth, if they give different <laughs> flavor to the jollof, I will make the goosey tongue to a bono. What seems, why, why the combination at that place? Well, to some people, it makes the food sweeter. But for mm -hmm. me, I personally got it because. They're not swallowing. No. It's okay. Even if you swallow the ball, uh -huh. you, you know... You feel pass and come Yes, out. it can't stay in your body. Mm. But I got it because most people had the normal middle one, yeah. which was very, like, I felt like it was so mainstream. How did they chop? Or how did they brush them out? So the first... The the can first, you brush, though? Yes, you okay. can. But the first week, um, I'm not going to lie, like I said earlier, it's actually very painful. Not very painful, but it's very uncomfortable because mm -hmm. your tongue is going to swell mm. and all of that you can't eat spicy food no alcohol no smoking no kissing because you're trying to you know keep your piercing as safe as possible yes. um i got it for the funny but i noticed that the moment i got it i got like a lot of attention that i didn't want because i'm talking to somebody bad attention and, yes i'm mm. talking to somebody not bad it was good and bad okay. because I'm talking to somebody and They're all the person is, yeah, like, um, I remember one time I went to the fuel station and instead of the guy to help, like, I I'm, I'm need to go and pay. And he's telling me, ah, mama, I like this, yo. So it's like, okay, I wanted to get it, but I didn't think I was going to, you know, you get what yes. I mean? Like, but it's, a, it's beautiful. I liked it because I got a lot of compliments and also people asking me, why do you do that? Why do you, you know, like my dad would tell me, Lord of the Rings, I should take this out and do this, and I'll just laugh. You know, say, now this is not the point where we say that they do like this. Hey. <laughs> because eh, it no matter how one or you both reach, you understand? It no matter how one look, no matter say, I don't go judge. Me, I don't go judge, but it they wonder me. Because I just listened to that report. It does say they take like six months yes. for the thing to heal. Pata, pata. Mm -hmm. But the pain, uncle, how long did they take me the pain end? Because I'm not paying, they hook me past. Yes, the pain uh, is right there. Okay. The pain that you feel is immediately you get your piercing done. It's like an instant pain. So they don't like, inject anything to numb the air before well, you go Well, some people, some people like 
you know, put like numbing cream yeah. and all of that. Oh, yeah. But personally, I I don't think it's better you just feel it right there than because if you do a numbing cream, for instance, on the tongue piercing, after which is not advisable, yeah. after a while. You do it, you don't feel anything. But after a while, when it starts wearing out, then the pain comes. Mm -hmm. So I feel it's better you feel that pain, and then after that, you're good. How far the trend they catch on for Nigeria? People see they fear. I mean, guys, uh, people they do the business day. I, I feel, mean, I only. I feel like because I've choked people with my piercing. Like I've told them, hey, you have to pierce, you have to do this. And the way I've gone about it, most people are becoming more acceptable to having piercings. And to be honest. I feel it's just the older generation that do not sit well with it. Mm. Even now, people like of the older generation are now beginning to pierce. Yes, and they're piercing like that. really cool places and weird places. And I'm just like always hyping them, you know, because there's nothing. It's even in the Bible. It's even, I can state like Ezekiel 16 verse 3 or mm -hmm. 6. It says, I've, um, I've created for you a crown upon your head and a ring on your nose. And I, I don't know how it goes, but... I feel like God ordained it already. And so we say they fine. So the first thing they do, you go fine. It's on top of this matter where we talk. I bet go so, go our social media page for Instagram. Mm -hmm. eh, check us out again on Twitter. Um, you know, reply there. What thing I want to ask you be say, just put your own statement. What thing your papa and mama go tell you if you show house today with piercing for your body? Just write and then one sentence. Typical African parent reaction to piercing, so that we go feel <laughs> judge ourselves. Know how critical we they day mm -hmm. on top um, this uh, matter. Mimi, how long will we say you know they do this piercing, they open people's body? Okay, so I said back in secondary school, mm -hmm. yes, I was piercing for all my seniors, but it was the, I was a novice then. We were just doing it for fun. Then you use like the normal eyes and Vaseline to soften, and it was fun for me. And I, Where after you that, learning? okay, so let, that's what I'm going okay. into. So after that, I, in 2009 or 10, I had gone to England, and on the bus, I saw a lady with a tragos piercing, and I was like... What do you call them? A tragos piercing. What's in that one be? It's just by the... It's just here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... That I, one is pain, because it's a cartilage, you know, it, there, it, there. Well, cartilage is more painful than a normal <clears> yellow piercing. Okay. So I had seen her piercing, and I was like, oh my God, like, so people pierce, like, this part of your body, because I had never seen a tragos mm. piercing before. And it's sort of like made me want to get a piercing. So I got into uni and I saw one of my seniors and I told her, you know what, I want to get this piercing. And she did it and it turned out bad. Mm. I actually have a scarring on my left ear. Okay. And I tried again. I tried like three times to repair that same Upon place. Upon wound you the first time. Yes, I was eager to do it. Not vexed. You did, you did ride power bike. <laughs> but they like I like, they like, you I like, yes, exactly. I love roller coasters and stuff. So I... She did it the third time and it wasn't working. One day I just saw my earring on the floor and I was like, you know what? Why are they not getting it right? I'm going to start doing this. Hmm. So um, I started, I traveled, learned, bought a piercing Bible. I read, like, literally, when I was about to start, I read literally every single day, watched a lot of videos, made sure I learned the tips and tricks. I wanted to make sure that once I start, I know, you know, I know my book and I know what to mm. say when people ask me. Questions. I'm still learning. Okay. I'm still perfecting my journey. But so far, I think, like, I have a hang of it. Okay. Listen on TV when we do, and people, mm. they watch, family, they watch and everything. But mm. I want to ask you one question. When be the weirdest place when we say person don't come to you? Uh, I mean, I'm not talking about people own, because I know, say, if we start that matter, some of us will go feel off our television here now. But uh, when we say when person don't come meet you, tell you, say, I bet me peace for you. I won't say it's weird okay. for me. And nothing weird for you. Mm -hmm. So just judge I'm saying on the African level, <laughs> okay. on the Nigerian I level, where would you just I think place? it will be a genital. Oh, I see. Both yeah. men and women are be? Yeah, well, most men ask, but they never do. But okay. most women, yes. But men, they can't do piercing. Yeah, they when pierce men, like they nipples. Like to, men, they, they pierce, pierce their people ear. for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They pierce their nipples, they pierce their ears. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with... So no vexer. You know, say... Um, as I wear this ring for my finger, I get why I wear them. And they mm. like me to just beautify my mm -hmm. finger. Say I wear this shoe now, you know? Mm. They will get different reasons for a different in hand. Mm -hmm. So people will be saying they come do piercing and for some kind spot them. Yeah. Then they ever tell you why they want them for that particular place? Okay, first off, I also I have to note that it's also not my concern yes. what they want to do with mm. that. 
But no, but for our conversation, I'm yeah, I know, like, I know like, that. Why you wonder? I know that because I have to start on an an easy note yeah. before I start getting very personal. Yes, because yes. they're like, okay, why you do? They just get my job done. Yeah. So I have to, you know, find out about the person. Mm. Some people do it for pleasure. Some people do it, you know, to increase sensation around mm. where they're getting it. For instance, some people that could be, I've pierced for somebody that was circumcised, mm. but because she was circumcised, she did it to, you know, sort of push out her hood. I've done piercing for people with inverted nipples yes. so that they can push out. So sometimes it's not really because of just for fun. Some people do it, you know, to That's what they hear. beautify or correct, mm. you know, how their body looks. You see, that, you see, people don't say, what we not really understand, make we no judge. Well, they know people say either then they find attention or this person had no correct or, you know, you just won't show yourself. You don't really hear and say people, they do them for certain, and they're very generous. You say, first of all, say they circumcise. Mm -hmm. First of all, say get inverted. People say they need put their inside mm -hmm. body. You know, and different, different people, they even do them to mark something where they already happen for their life. So say, say you see people, we say then they do them. I don't talk to people when they do them, say for fashion, no, me person notice me. Or that is yeah. day. Um, make we also talk about price of this piercing matter. Yeah. The place where you want pierce, I think they determine how much you yes. collect. Okay, yes. which place be the cheapest place? Maybe we'll start um, from the down, ear, not to get money. From the ear up, from the neck up. From the neck up, now yeah. ain't cheap. That's your ear, nose, mouth. Yeah. This one, tongue. Yeah. What do you call that one? Uh, the tongue is, uh, but the ear, most, mostly the ear. Okay, but yeah. tongue, they cost more. Um, yeah, the tongue is like 23K. Okay, with to the put ring. one. Yes. It's all right. Then with the ring. Yes. So you now you say you go set the ring, give them. No, it comes, every piercing comes with the ring. The ring, okay. Yes. And not a wash. Never. You can use it to shower. You won't be the one to get tired of it. So then be like gold, gold, and uh, so silver, I use, silver, behind it be. So I, I have pure gold. I, you could use pure silver. It depends. But recommended for recommended f f um, fresh piercings, rather. I use pure su surgical steel. Okay. And I'm... It's safer for me because I know that, okay, nothing can happen to mm. your piercing. There are people that react to steel. There are people that react to metals. So those ones, they use, like, bioplast okay. jewelries. Those are plastic mm. jewelries. I know that we don't already talk about risk way day earlier on top of the matter, but any health risk follow for this matter? Um, okay, so for instance, it's not a risk per se. Okay. For instance, people that have migraines, it's advisable... Mm like have really bad mi yes. migraines, it's advisable that you can get a date p piercing. Um, what do you call that one? Date. How that one would it be? As so a calendar on top. <laughs> it's, it's like after the rook, like yes. it's below the rook. So you know you have like two lines on mm -hmm. your ear, mm -hmm. the one below before the chagos. Yeah. So it's advisable if you have a date, um, if you get a date piercing, it helps a lot with migraines. I don't see it. Maybe person they read book, they understand matter. What do they ever look at like that? Say, get some kind of health matter or benefits when even follow. See me not to talk about risk. Please. Best that me follow for when they but even with the judge risk, people say. With the risk, I feel like if you go to a good piercer and you take care of your piercing properly, nothing can so happen. So the key thing is to take care of them so that infection and no go always enter. always dry. It always, I feel like that's the secret. Make sure your piercing is always dry. If it's dry, you're good. I advise her. So how long is it good to put the piercing inside, make it not go close back? Six months. Okay, we also live and there for six months. Yeah. If you a bath, you go pour water on top of baby. Go yeah. you go they wrap them. No, you can okay. shower normally, but make sure you always dry it. Which kind of food you suppose avoid in case you do the one with the day inside mouth? Like this, your spicy gum and, food. and tongue. Okay. Spicy food. No smoking. No kissing. Anything that you know that would you know disturb the piercing. So spicy food. I'm, I'm hot yeah. food, uncle. Uh, you could have hot food, but it's not advisable for a fresh, fresh piercing. I see. And then always use um, non-alcoholic mouthwash. I think the mouthwash helps to kill any bacteria. Non-alcoholic? Yeah, I not said, alcoholic. Not, okay. Alcoholic will burn your, oh, your piercing. Oh, I see. I, I said slow, that was supposed to help to disinfect them. No, it will mm. slow down the healing um, process. But non-alcoholic will really help it to heal faster. Okay. You get people who don't share their experience with you as per when they carry their piercing go house first time piercers mm. waiting you know their parents talk or their friends just give us some kind I'm, 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 I am a good example okay. <laughs> what's it happen what did I tell I you I got a slap the Ew. first time where you put the piercing when they slap you my ear oh okay as I find the normal one they give you when you small yes yeah, so Which one? the extra the one where you add one. it's okay I got a slap who give to you mom. auntie mama my or, or mom but mm. well, it was my auntie that reported to my, my mom dear way. I'm yeah, telling you, I was really feeling like I had arrived, come mm. back from school. I was like, oh, how I'm old were you then? I was in secondary school. This now, I made that slap your puss now. I see. <laughs> <laughs> My mom was like, I sent you to school to go and read your hair piercing. I your hair. After, like, 
She slapped me. I didn't come out from my room for like days. My mom, on Sunday, in time to go to church, she brought another earring like to wear on it. I was like, okay, this is staying. Like, I'm not taking off this thing. But after a while, she, now my mom is like my biggest supporter. Like, oh, wow. before I started, like, the first person that, you know, pushed me and told me, yeah. do this, do that, was my mom. So, so far, and I go to have, like, financial advice, you know, tell me, do you think this is the right thing to do? And she always advises me. Properly. Honestly, I agree. This is a very serious matter you talk, you know, really, honestly, with a fear waiting, we don't understand. See your mom, maybe say, at first, they shocked, you know, they please, and now yeah. she did your corner. There's so many things that we say people, they do, we don't understand. I know some people say that they draw tattoo. We don't calm down now for tattoo people. Yeah. Because when tattoo first starts, if you're not know, be devil worshiper, why you go put tattoo for body? <laughs> and all the things that they get that time. Then you go see this issue of waist beads. Yeah. And people will say that they wear um, anklets. Mm -hmm. oh, no, be small matter. I know so when we small, we know what they call those women them. Many of the anti we say we wear anklets. We don't already know say that the anti we say that they stand for road, <laughs> then they sell their body. So the day when myself carry anklets wear for leg, I set my leg foot. I say, hey, my go with my mama. So all they say, ah, very nice. I said, we talk to you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing because when we smoke, we know that they do. Even yeah. waist beat matter. I get people say they will see women wear waist beat. Go see a juju. Mm -hmm. Now she wear for her waist. Then go feel say you they lose. Um, and nobody don't sit down to really understand why we they wear those things yeah. for body. If you look some of our old in day picture, again we think our ancestors then wear too for body. They wear them for beautification. Mm -hmm. um, you now as you feel for your body. It's, it's, yeah, it's the same way as pierced in some countries like. In Kenya, yes. they they do that for beauty. Yes. You see people that expand their mouth. Yes. For them those plates where then they yes. wear. Yes. For them is beauty. If you see them, you go say, ew. But yes. me, when they do, I'm not to attract exactly. the other person. So when things not done for your side, then they don't reach up, finish for <laughs> another um, area. Meme, yes. this is a very interesting um, interview with you on top of this um, piercing matter. Meme, just one final word. Just give us a, uh, give it to us in one sentence uh, to people when they out there about piercing. Um, personally, I feel like if you really, really want to get a piercing done, you should. Do not think about what anybody's going to say. Do not care about what might happen. Life is too short. You only have one life. Take a risk. Do everything that you want to do. And please make sure that if you're getting the piercing, make sure you get it from me. It's Mem all right. I said I hear him. Follow my piercing page on Instagram at Mem's Body Piercing. Um, if you need to reach me, you can contact me on this number, 08117. See, I mean, I don't see that in the beginning. You know, if you give yourself that advert, no, we're not going to take them. I was not ready to even talk her social media page. Go say hello to Meme. Meme's from body piercing. So, Meme, um, don't already talk at this matter. Be on top, um, you know, to open body and um, other things mm -hmm. where people they do. My own, be say, my own final word, be say, make we not judge people for waiting, we know, understand. For this show, we're going to unfold certain myths. Things will be said we don't understand on top um, some beautification. I know so that last part where they talk say if you want to do anything, go do some people don't already lower the volume of their TV. Say this gay, you won't come for my picking. You don't look at picking. Say if you try him, if you try him, I will carry the person, draw you come up for inside this house. Uh, but last last we say make we not a judge waiting we know understand.